Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little side-by-side -side comparison of this new Morphe, the glitter eyeshadows, metallic eyeshadows, but these are the glitter ones. So if you'd like to see some side-by-side -side comparisons, then please keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and stay a while. All right, guys, we're just going to jump right in. Um, I went on ahead and did my makeup off camera, and I did everything but my lid shade and lashes and mascara, so I'll get all that later. But I just wanted to jump on here and do a little bit of side-by-side side side comparison on some of this, this new Morphe stuff they've put out. This is actually going to be from their... Um, holiday collection this was all that I picked up I wanted to pick that other palette up but because I just bought the Morphe 35M palette it sort of mimicked that one so I just passed on it all together I love to pick up things that's unique to my collection or something that I don't have and have to keep repeating these glitter shadows everybody knows I am hooked on glitter if it's glitter it's got kale written all over it. But um, a lot of these are in the same shade. So I kind of just wanted to share with you guys so you don't pick up and re-pick up and re-pick up the same stuff. If you already own something, there ain't no point in just re-purchasing it, if that makes any sense. So I am just going to go ahead and do my eyes and so I can finish my makeup and then we'll just talk and... I'll do some swatches and show you guys some of the other stuff that I've got. This glitter from Morphe, the glitter shadows, you get three of them, which is, they look like this, for 12 bucks. My Stila's, I paid $24 a piece for those. So that is a huge savings. Um, The ColourPop, you guys know I'm a color pop head. They are, I think they're about seven bucks. And Pixie, I want to say, is 14. So you can see it's just gradually in. And I also have Wet n Wild. Let me look up real quick how much Wet n Wilds are. $4.99. Yeah. All right. The Wet n Wild will run you about $4.99 a piece. So still, Morphe's coming out on top price wise now formula we're fixing to see i'm gonna do one eye kitten karma and the other eye uh days by morphe so i'm gonna use the same brushes they're both the um m205 it's the same brush that i would normally use any when you're applying these the one thing that i can tell you and share about it would be shake them because uh, if you don't shake these, the only thing you're gonna come out with is the liquid and no glitter. You really wanna get product on the little stick. If not, you're just applying wetness and the whole point is to be glitzy, right? I'm gonna go in with my Stila. I'm gonna pick a little bit of on the brush. With these guys, a little goes a long way. Now my eyes were ready to go for for this. I already done my makeup off camera. And I am just going to pat this on. I'm just applying it just the way I would any other time. Nothing special. There's no tacky glue down or anything. Of course you don't need, really need a glue with these. They work best just like that on their own so that is Stila's Kitten Karma now with my clean brush I'm gonna go in with Days by Morphe and I'm gonna apply it to the other eye I'm just gonna pick a little up And I am going to apply the same way I did with the Kitten Karma. You 
you guys know I'm all about some glitter. So these little shades, I love. Hence the reason why I have so many, I guess. And that is day. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna layer just a little more up on the Morphe side and see how it layers. Now, the Stila, you really don't have to layer. I just, I'm curious about this. So. All right, we're gonna let them dry. I'm going in with, we're going to see how it layers up. Some of these liquid shadows, if you're not careful, if you put them on too thick, they will flake off, is what I found. But that's why I said initially, a little goes a long ways. But if you will put your first layer down of your liner and then come back once it's dried and do your second layer, I find it works a lot better. Some people don't like to do that. With me, it don't matter either way. far so good if you can see this was the Morphe side um Stila I'd say color wise they're the same color they give off the same color but the Morphe side is going to be a little more sheer I'm going to try to go right in with this applicator and see Yes, now that made all the difference in the world. Can you guys see now? Really good. See, these Morphe ones, you just want to go right in with the applicator and not so much with a brush. I'm going to give it just a minute to dry really um, applying with the applicator as opposed to the brush just moving around product even though I was just stamping as you guys seen um, I think the applicator is going to be the way to apply them as opposed to a brush I really like to use the brush though Who else can't talk and put mascara on at the same time? <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's look at some of the other ones. This is Diamond Dust by Stila, and like I said, guys, you really want to shake these around and get the product moved good, moving around good, so you don't get just straight out liquid. All right, this this is um, Diamond Dust. This is. Poppin by the Morphe. I'm going to layer it up like I did on the eyes so you guys can see. Pixie and what is this? Crystalline. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is a little different than the others, but I wanted to throw it in there so you guys could see. If you have this in your collection already and you wanted to get this, I mean, you totally could. But so you could see alongside what all three looks like. So this is the Stila. If I'm not in focus, I'm going to be so mad. This is the Morphe. The middle's Morphe. And then this on the end is Pixie. You got, 
Guys, I am so hooked on these. It's not even funny. All right, here's the Morphe. Kitten Karma. Kitten Karma, Morphe. If you guys are not into the glitter and you just, I don't know, there is tiny pieces of glitter in this one, but it's so small, it looks more metallic than glitter. This is by ColourPop. It's called Walk of Fame. And this is what she looks like. So, Morphe. No. So, Stila, Morphe, ColourPop. It, guys, I'm telling you, if you have hooded eyes, this stuff is the way to go. The only one thing that I would um, say about ColourPop's formula, do not pound it on. Do a little, little bit. The let a, le a little goes a long way. So, with the ColourPop, you do want to use a brush, but you want to lightly apply. And, uh as opposed to using from the applicator, because the applicator could be, mm, it, it'll leave too much product on and what happens is it starts to flake off. All right, I'm gonna just throw this one in there. This was the last one that comes in the Morphe three pack. It is a darker color, I'm just gonna swatch it. I don't have anything to show us alongside this, but looking at my eyes and what I have been able to show you with what I have what I own from Stila, I would say if you wanted to skip out on buying Stila's, um, I can't remember the name of it. This is what she looks like. A, a dark smoky eye with this over would be stunning. Stay tuned because I'm probably gonna try it out. All right, guys, that completes these, but I kind of want to show you guys some other stuff that I have just in case you wanted to pick these up. All right, this is in the shade Gold Goddess. Here's the Stila. I'm going to show you guys this just, to, and this is Wet n Wild um, Gold Lux. Guys, these, all of these formulas are different. I'm just showing you shade-wise. And that is Gold Lux. Whereas Stila is just loaded with glitter, this is more of a shimmer. In, I mean, what did I, I quoted the price earlier. It's still a huge savings if you wanted to check it out and play around. Like I said, if you have hooded eyes, this stuff is the way to go, I promise you. Because once it dries, it doesn't transfer up higher. That's why I love to wear them. And with, my, with me, because my eyes are so hooded, like I normally will apply a glitter glue down first before I apply any shimmer to my eye just to stop any transfer, which I guess essentially makes one of these because the glue, once the glue dries down, the tackiness is gone and your shadow won't budge. Okay, the last one that I wanna show you guys is the Rose Gold Retro by Stila. Let me shake this around. I don't think I shake the other one, the last one I just did. All right, this is Rose Gold Retro. This is one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to show you the comparisons to Shells and Whistles by Wet n Wild. Shells and Whistles. And this is Constellation. This is that Kathleen Lights thing that I picked up. That's it right here. It really don't have much of a glitter but it's more of a shimmer, shimmer, 
glitter. So if you guys aren't into the glitter and you want to try these out, all right, steal aside. You guys can see there's no creasing, no fallout, which if there was any fallout, like I would be mad. I love glitter. And then this is the Morphe side. And I can see that it kind of bunched up a little in my crease. I don't know if you guys can see. But other than that, it's, it looks really, really good. I mean, there's nothing to say, oh, I'm mad about. Because after all, these were only like three bucks a piece. But if you guys want to pick it up, I don't think you would be mad about it just to sit and play around. Like I said, I, I put up... I wanted to show you guys the other ones with no glitter and what I had in my collection. All right, guys, that's it for me and my little comparison video. If you like this type of video, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you stay around. I really, really am so thankful that you are watching my videos if you have made it this far. I, would, I want you to just know that I appreciate your view, and I'll see you guys in my next video.